Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm sorry you guys cannot see us, but we're doing a, um... This ain't your typical show tonight. Nope, uh, this is a YouTube exclusive. Um, so this one, uh, we're going to give our opinion and thoughts of every NHL uh, away jersey. So, uh, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. I got my co-hosts here, uh, Christopher Drive hey. and Matt Weiss. You are, I'm going to... Yeah, you keep getting my name wrong. I said Weiss. It's Weiss. Whatever. You <laughs> I hate you. Be anyway. glad I didn't call you Sean Weiss. Yeah, uh, we, you, you've used that joke. Just say hi to people and Daniel, be nice. All right, and then we, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it's your one-stop shop for all your hockey needs. You can get your referee gear, uh, hockey gear, Admiral's jerseys, Predators jerseys, Wild jerseys, and Blackhawks jerseys. You can also get your goalie gear, referee gear, and anything else you may need. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. You took our bit. Yeah, but nothing. I right, tell me the address. Yeah, you already did. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Crap, you took her bit. I did everything. Yeah, I know you did. You took her bit. <laughs> All right. So up first, we have the Montreal Canadiens. These are in no particular order, so I'm sorry. It's just the way they downloaded. Yep. So thoughts. It's a classic look. Don't ever change it. I mean, if you want to alter it, alter it in a slight, minuscule way. Don't go a full blown rehaul. Yeah, there's no. Correct? Yeah, there's no reason to like, like, because a lot of clubs will do what uh, change the tint of the color, maybe of the red or the blues. There's no reason to change any of these. Yeah, if anything, to make them a little bit more vibrant, maybe. But there's no reason to even touch. This. I mean, the only thing I don't like is the your your primary colors are white as it is. Why not make the red and blue stripe a little bit bigger? Yeah. But that's just a little minor it's, touch. Yeah. That's what I say. If you're gonna alter it, just a minor touch. Don't full blown change it because it's a classic look. We don't mean the logo either. We're not touching the logo. No, the logo no logos classic. are actually. We're doing our logo video next week. Right. Yeah, but don't mess with the logo. It's a classic look. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Honestly, I like their alternate better. <laughs> the alternate is so much better because it's a isn't it a full body? It's a coyote? psychedelic looking coyote, and he looks cool. But I do like the color scheme, and this logo it's okay for what it's supposed to be. It's a good representation of the coyotes, but I prefer their alternate just because I like psychedelic. What about I just, you? I just find the. I do not like their shoulder pad. No. What no. is your shoulder pad? It's the Arizona flag. It's the, you don't yeah. like the Arizona flag? Well, when they went back, to, because they were the Phoenix Coyotes, it's they the jumped same back. State. Well, yeah, again, they jumped in, and they pulled the Minnesota and just said, oh, well, we're the Arizona, because it's some con convoluted way of incorporating the whole state as a fandom, I guess. Kind but, of like how the Packers do it. They're about okay. Well, they're not the, the, but they're not the Wisconsin Packers. They, they don't even Good need point. to do that. No, because they're like the... Nationwide Packers, it's, if anything. It's Good like point. it's like when they were like when there's people like, well, we, well, we, you should call them the Wisconsin Brewers or the Wisconsin Bucks. No, there's no reason to do that. They're in Milwaukee. People of all the all over the state know that they're in Milwaukee. So is that why people hated to name the California Angels instead of just calling them the LA Angels or Anaheim Angels? It was just a way to differentiate the team. That was it. But then again, that's that's. Uh, as far as the California Angels are concerned, California Angels still sounds better than the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, which they thankfully. I did changed. enjoy uh, Anaheim Angels. Anaheim way, Angels. Well, I'm, I know what's gonna happen with this. Classic. Don't touch it. Yeah, don't. You can. Yeah, we already have like been... You can alter it like the Canadians, just a minor alteration here or there, but don't mess with it. Even there's only one here. thing I have to say, and never ever again use your shoulder patch as a front logo. No, <laughs> no. Oh, you don't... mean your alternate? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got to get a better alternate, but don't mess with the Bruins. It's, that's a classic as well. This one, on, uh, the Calgary Flames. This one, I like. Is if you like, if anybody that I know has ever played NHL. Honestly, I like the EA. black C instead of the red, but that's just me. 
Uh, as far as the EA NHL game goes, like these still kind of stand out. The flame, the flaming sea, is one of the most recognizable of all time. It's, yeah, it, it even a hockey logo. It like totally that. outdoes the Atlanta one by like miles. Like when they moved this team to Calgary and did this logo over, it blew that one away. It's such a nice logo. But it does, in a weird way, look like a sea octopus. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, kind of it does. But um. The striping on there is perfect too. Like it's oh, except not, for on the sleeves, there's a little bit of white. There's a little. It's a little bit of white, but it's not as it's not as lavish. Like you have that nice orange stripe under it, and it kind of complements the red. It's very it's very unique. Like if we're gonna talk about the Vegas one, that later I'll contrast as to why I don't like how they did that one. But this, this uh, one. Calgary Flames, I prefer the Black Sea, but it's still a classic look. Don't alter it. Yeah. I kind of like this. This one got an improvement because I know that the new the home jerseys do it as well. It's that they got rid of the stupid purple foot. <laughs> oh, you mean the frostbite foot? The yeah. frostbite foot, which, again... It, it kind of makes sense because, you know, Yeti. mountains and snow. Well, it Yeti. Makes sense. They're going for Yeti. I'm like, well, you know, I don't... I don't associate the Rocky Mountains with the freaking Yeti. No, I associate Seattle with the Yeti. You know, well, yeah. Pacific Northwest. Well, that Sasquatch. Yeah. Which is basically but I do Yeti. Like, I and... do like <laughs> but like, the, I think the one thing I don't like about this is that like the bottom of it kind of has that weird triangular. I guess that's them kind of complementing the A the of the mountain, logo for the mountain. mountain peak. But then again, if you're gonna establish a mountain top on the bottom, make a mountain peak. Yeah, yeah, at least make it more um, mountain-like. Yeah. Like, the bottom should be mountain The back, however, I like. The back is actually nice and circle. Yeah. Like, if you look at it at a right angle, it's almost rounded perfectly. Yeah, it's not like your, your typical but what are we, block. But what are we doing with the... I, I, again, I'm always picky about this. Black lettering. Or black uh, numbers on the back. Like, I'm just... Go with your, go with your navy blue. You have a navy. You have navy blue in yeah, your color. Yeah, but black pops more on a white background. I know, but well, I'm, if you want to be able to see the players from a distance with a white jersey like this, I do well, approve of the black because it pops more. Yeah, because the white pops on the red, which is why I have no issue with the white numbering on the sleeves. Because it pops, and you're trying to get so... your numbers to pop so the fans in the upper deck can still read. You know, yeah. that's why yeah. I like how it pops. That's yeah. my take on it. You know, Fair we enough. have different takes on it. Oh, yeah, if it's next. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. They could have did a better job. This Sorry, is, uh, Columbus. This is loads it's better. It's better than that stupid cannon, but. And <laughs> don't start him on that. <laughs> it's Blue not the cannon. It's, it's, yeah, can. it's better than the cannon, and it's better than that stupid nap that they did, where they yeah. got the they got that stupid bug. And what was it, the Curse of CBJ that they did how many years ago? Yeah, I'm talking about the logos, but yeah, they did complement these same exact things. Yeah. I do like the stars on the on the stripe on the on the yeah. sleeves. It's That's patriotic, very... if anything. Well, I mean, because... I do like it. It's not a horrible. Doesn't this shirt. this also goes with like what Nashville does with their uh, was it their shoulder patch with the the guitar pick? It's uh, with their city flag. Yeah, it? yeah. This I believe also does the Columbus flag. In it? Nope, it's got the cannon on the shoulders. Well, no, no, on the front. That's the yeah. That's the Columbus flag. But, but that's yeah. nice, though. I'm but not again, really sure what with the freaking cannon? All that's right. Columbus. I'm going to let him start with this one because I know. Uh, I'm tempted to say something, but I'm going to let Chris go first. <laughs> it, it looks like a box can, of can, Thin can, Men. Can, can, <laughs> wait, wait, can I say it? Can I say it? Go ahead. It's, 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 it's the, this is the Bizarro Blackhawks. This is literally the inverted Blackhawks with one stripe missing at the bottom. Yeah, it is kind of. And it looks like the... I'm just, I'm, just not fan, I'm just not a fan of the whole D on the star. I don't I mean, understand why they had to indoctrinate that into this. They honestly should have just kept the Mike Madonna era Dallas Stars. Yeah, that's not a black yeah. jersey they had. Those look nice. These, it just looks the only, plain and lazy. The only problem I had with those jerseys is that they did a six point star with all the bottom parts yeah. of it in, instead of five. Yeah. You've been, oh, you're, you're this just look lazy to me. Like It's, it, it just it's just a slapdash lazy. logo. I have no stuff. issue with the team, but the jersey just looks lazy. Red Wings, classic. Don't, don't even, yep, yep. 
Yeah, that's yeah. unanimous. Don't touch any of the original. That's a classic too. However, I do like their orange or blue. I like the orange and blue on the back. Yeah. Like you were saying, on a white that actually, if you have another color, like if you if if let's say the the avalanche, like we were talking about with the black numbers yeah. on the back, if you did the navy with the purple outline, yes. you'd have been perfectly fine. That's exactly. Or what purple doing. numbers with the navy outline, you'd have still been fine. Yeah, but the Oilers don't change it. I do like their blue or orange jerseys better than the white. Yeah. But I'm not a big fan of white clothing, anyways. This but that's with, a classic look. Well, don't this mess with, with the it. navy again. I I okay with it, but uh, as I said earlier, with the whole like this is kind of where they're just modernizing it just a little bit more. But it's still popular. the same principle. It's a, oil yeah, blues. but again, I still prefer the more royal blue and popping orange jersey. Yeah, yeah I oh, do wow. like that orange jersey that the Oilers have. That's nice. That's, I like that. They fix this. Like, if you I love the logo of the wild because it has like the wilderness and then the full moon, but it also has like a wild animal head too. I like yeah. that mixture of the two. And the it also has a, a the north star in yep. the logo as well, so yeah. that, that's kind of just throwing yeah. another. I do like the Minnesota Wild. So it's for Dallas, but I mean, but, I'm trying to be unbiased, but I can't. It's a nice logo. It is like well, the Minnesota Wild have a nice logo. Let's well, talk about the jersey. <laughs> But the jersey itself, it, it's just a standard if, green and white well, jersey. If you, if you remember the, the the former away jersey as much as I do, the former away jersey that? I thought was, no, 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 that's the home jersey. Oh. The former away jersey I thought, which was the most popular one, because many people that I knew didn't like the red homes, oh. they wore this one or the green alternate one with the letter pressed Minnesota Wild on the front. This was the one that they released first before they changed their home jerseys. Yeah. And everybody in was it Minneapolis St. Paul went nuts for these jerseys. And there's a good reason why. It's simple. There's a little bit of I believe there's this little stripe of cream or was it aged white in the middle of the the two stripes? I could be nope, wrong. Nope, it's all white. It is all white. Okay. But no, like this like they figured it out down pat that they don't have to go overboard with the red. All right. So yeah. on to the next one. I like it. I don't. You don't uh, like the white. I like the white better, and they're all yellow. I'm always picky when it comes to using the what I call the bar the bar white, where you like you just have the the top with the team color, and then it goes white for a bit, and then it goes back to the regular. Oh, oh you like more striping and not that. Well, it's not so much that. It's just if you're gonna go white for the top portion, I don't mind. You can have a yellow collar, but I don't, I don't know. I'm picky on this. One. I like it, I but like I do it also like because it has the piano keys on the inside of the yeah, pink one. That's and the, I do like the guitar string number. Yes, yeah, that is one of because it is the Music ones. City after all. That is what that is one thing we like about it. Dude. But I I don't like the yellow, but it is better than the mustard yes. yellow. Yeah, <laughs> yellow is way better. Do we have to do the next one? Oh. I like it because it's like a classic look. It's such it's no a classic would look. be them looking like Christmas trees. Again, <laughs> I'd rather that they would incorporate, like reincorporate, like the the slightest. What degree. is the point of the black at the bottom? Nothing, because it's good. You're already putting it over black shorts. Yeah, and it's like there's no point. So I mean that I I do like the show, the the arm sleeves. Also, that's perfect. If you'd have done that at the bottom of the jersey, this jersey would have been okay. Also, yeah, put, yeah, that would have been nice. Also, they put a stripe of green in the collar. Yeah, and there's oh, a I stripe of green in that. the yeah, collar. Right. I just now noticed that, but I do like the devil logo itself. Yeah, but it's, the jersey it's looks it still looks nice. That's another these, classic. I have no issue with the Islanders uh, jersey. These were an ex like, I prefer their blue one though. It's uh, here's the thing. Every other team puts something in the neck. This then no. nothing. In the neck, there's a little logo. Even in the wild ones, there's a little something in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. To me, it's just it's a basic it's, hockey jersey, boring. Yeah, but it's still kind well, of when nice, the when did the ugly. when did the well, I call them the Durs. When did they come into the league? Were they part of the uh, one of the initial expansions? They were part of that uh a W H A. Oh, the W H L. You know, no, the W. You know, the West. Uh, the Western West, Hockey League? World Hockey the, League. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So basically, they. But I will give it a pass. They just Somebody. indoctrinated the same colors, even though like they're the same colors as the. So orange. you guys give it a pass. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not gonna pick on this one. 
Uh, yep. Yeah, just leave it. Just yeah, leave it's it. classic. Yeah. Right? It's, it's, do you know what's the only thing I am picky about yeah. on this? Just the numbering. The numbering, it, it looks, looks weird. It looks like a 90s 3D block. Yeah, yeah it looks like a... And there's too many stripes. It looks like an orange shadow. It kind of has that magic eye effect where if you move, you feel like it's... Yeah, it doesn't look like a blue yeah. with an orange shadow on it. Yeah. But the one thing I did say is too much striping. Too much striping, and then you go white again. Yeah. It's you should have had it ending at the striping. It is kind of hard on the eyes, too, where you, if you look at it long enough, you're just like, oh, wow. Well, yeah, but it's, it's, it's a classic it's, look. Don't yeah, change again, it too much, there's no reason to change it hard. I like <laughs> that too. That looks like a solid unit. That's a solid jersey right there. I'm, I'm all right. The, the only center. thing I have an issue with is how do you have red right in the 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 center crease of the jersey on the side that doesn't wrap into the logo, and then you let it stop in the sleeve halfway through for some black. That, Especially when you have a Centurion logo that could easily utilize, like, I don't know, a cape. But can you imagine, fly. like, if there was, like, a black stripe, and then you had the logo on the black stripe, but the black stripe go across the center of the jersey? That's what I was referring to, even with the red would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it wear, look, why does the I logo look like they're wearing a hoodie? I, <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I mean, because they're Centurions, they always had capes. But uh, the other thing I didn't understand is like, or no, well, not really that, but I wonder if the senators were just too worried that they would clash with the Jersey Devils. Maybe I don't yeah. know. It does kind of feel like a lot of them. That's why like, uh, Pittsburgh had gold and black instead of their mustard yellow and black because of the whole clash which, between them and Boston. I'm sorry, those are still better, but we'll get to that one. <laughs> yeah. I like it. It's a classic. I don't like this. Don't touch it. I don't. I don't like the nameplate. The name yeah, the nameplate. Name they should just go like every other. They team. do this all the time with their home and aways, where they're just like, oh, we're gonna do a white bar for the the homes, and we're gonna do a black bar for the aways. It's unnecessary. Just stop. Yeah, you don't need to bar. Stop but... letting gritty make your jerseys. Uh, no, Let's not talk about gritty, jerseys. please. They could look like a psychedelic orange and black experiment. All right, <laughs> next. Classic. Better. Better than the gold. Better. Better. Better than their away, better than their home jersey. I don't know. I like their black home jersey. I don't better. like the gold though. The gold is pointless. Yeah, I don't like the gold, but I like the shitty all. Yeah, but they use gold on the black jersey. Yeah. Yeah, but not as much though. Yeah. I like it, but I do miss the old one. All right. So one problem. I'm, I said this in our last video. The orange stripe on the arm. Has no point in this jersey. The no. only thing orange about the logo is the hockey stick. And the eyes. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. We said that in the last... That's exact our comment from the last video. Yeah. Uh, they do have a nice little thing in the neck. Like, I, li I like to see that. I also like the shoulder patch. What's that up with the you and your neckline? Well, I mean... You like, you like necklines. Well, the, again, this is, like, something that makes it even more than just a jersey. There's something unique to it. Yeah. yeah because, yeah, believe it or not, your cervical spine is a straight shot to your neck. That meaning that whatever's most meaningful or heartful in your in your team spirit goes straight to your brain. Yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose. That's a nice philosophical way of saying it. I'm but deep. I'll give it a pass. We're getting deep here on From Milwaukee to Minnesota. <laughs> <sighs> We're going deep into the game. Blues, Much I like it. Better. I've always liked that. Much I better. could not find a custom, and the only one I could find is the women's jersey. Yeah. Well, what did they put in the, uh, in the neck on this one? I don't know, but it, it looks like a button. It looks like music notes. Okay. Yeah, the blues. Like the, the actual. Like, but why is part. it red? I, yeah. That's the one thing. Why is it red? All right, next. Oh, oh see, look at this. Well, remember, there was a time where the Toronto Maple Leafs logo on here wasn't classic because they went and went sharp on their stupid logo. Yeah. All right. And so, then they massively fixed it. But I like that because of the detail in the Maple Leaf. Yeah. It really looks like a, a it looks artist like an actual in there. leaf. Ah, he's going into the but closet. Most of this is Whoa, un, like you, you most of this episode. most of this is where That's what it says. Yeah. I don't honor pride courage. In the neck. Yeah. They have pride in Toronto. Yeah. You know what's funny? No matter how bad Toronto plays, I don't see their fans putting bags over their heads. No. Nope. You see it. And they have Buffalo. a lot of company use. But again, yeah, this is another one that you don't really need to touch. Yeah, you don't gotta alter. I do like the newer logo, but we'll get into that yep. next week. Yep. The what? The newer, like, they went back to the Leaf logo that was uh, oh. based on the original. I thought these were current jerseys. Yeah. Uh, we have the Vancouver Canucks. I, I, I don't know. I, I, 
What really irks me most about this one <clears throat> still is like the green, like again. The green, I, white, green, or what is it? Blue, the, white, green, white, blue. When the when the Orca logo has like doesn't even have any shades of green in it. No. What? Again. They're I, so close to Seattle. They thought they'd get away with it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we'll see how that goes when Seattle comes in. I have an issue in. with it. I mean, that's a classic. Don't mess with it. I always liked that logo. I actually prefer, like, again, because if we're going to talk about logo incorporation on here, I prefer the, what is it, You Dan knows what I'm talking about, the classic style logo for the, the Whatever you do, don't use that eagle that I use for no, the NHL no, team. We, we will never go don't back to that Don't use the ever. shoulder patch for an alternate crest. Yeah. I mean, a shoulder patch does look cool, but it's I, nice. believe, I don't feel that it deserves to be on like the front crest of a jersey. But no. I do like the Capitals. I don't know. They could have done better with the Jets, in my opinion. There's so much more you could have done with this. It's better. It's so it's much. It's an airplane on top of a maple leaf. Well, I think it's barely even a maple leaf, though. It just looks like a. like a It looks like an arrow pointing down. It's like a fa- like a fancy compass arrow pointing down. Yeah. All right, so the one thing I don't like is the double blue and silver striking. Yeah, yeah that is kind of dumb. Yeah, not a fan. I've never been a fan of the uh, Winnipeg's jerseys. Um, I do like Manitoba's, however. Man- yeah, the Manitoba AHL. Yeah, uh, why? I like it. No. Yes. Also, like first it. off, back of the collar, absolutely stupid. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Vegas. It's just Vegas. There's nothing to it, just They're Vegas. They're a tourist trap. What do you expect? Well, what do you, like, again, you can easily go with how many. The whole like, reason the Vegas exists is so that way hockey fans that are in Vegas can go see their teams in Vegas, get out of the game, and then go gamble. Well, it's again, a tourist trap. It ain't meant that. No, far. but again, you could easily have done something with dice or something on the neck. You could have easily Yeah, done... I don't understand why they went with Golden Knights when they should have been the Vegas Aces in the first place. Or and just... have like a flaming uh, hand of cards with like the Ace of Spades or whatever on fire. Well, they could have did something that's... more gambling related with it. They we'll know. get into the logo in a minute. Yeah, but uh, next The week. red stripe is my biggest gripe with this thing. It, there's, because the logo... I get it. There's no reason for the red, because there's no red the, in the logo. The face, There's no yeah. red in any of their jerseys. No, oh. there's red in their tertiary logo, the the star with the... the oh, yeah, on the shoulder crest. But again, the that, shoulder pad. remember what I said about the wild, where I said they barely use red, they know how to properly use it? This is something that says against it. This doesn't use red at all. Or this doesn't use red in the way that it should be. These red stripes around the was it around the arms and the neck are almost entirely pointless. <sighs> Next, kill it. <laughs> it'll never it'll never be better than their old. Okay, logo. the only thing that I have an issue with is the shoulder should be uh, there and the D should be up there. Also, get rid of the orange and the, I don't know why we're doing. The duck still doing orange still baffles me. I wear my I wore my D two ducks jersey. Yeah, and there's no orange. There's the mighty ducks, the yellow and the, green. the original jersey, yeah, the right. original mighty ducks format still has one of the best color the color palettes of all time. time. There's again, I, I don't care how much that's they, even where the bucks got it right. Purple and green, purple, purple and green. green. Yeah, they, it works. It, Red and green works too, but purple and green in this. The case only is knock purple. on red and green is. Christmas tree. Wild. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas, wild. Christmas tree. Christmas jersey. All right. So this this is, yeah. All right. Next. I like it. It's a classic. Don't mess with it. Yeah. This, I mean. I do like your 50th anniversary jerseys mm-hmm. currently this year where the buffalo itself is gold. I do like that because it's, ain't that their golden anniversary? 50 yeah. Years? Golden yeah. anniversary is normally 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. It's a classic look. Do you guys have any issues with it? No. I mean, even me as a longtime Sabres fan, and obviously I, I still can... like the Dominic Hasek ones better, but this is passable. This is definitely better than the ones that they rocked from 2006 oh, yeah. to 2000. It's just and... like the Buffalo head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, as he calls it, the Buffalo slug. It's the Buffalo slug. <laughs> you looked like he was uh, biting his look like, don't want to say anything, don't want to say anything. 
Oh, look. It's I get it. It's just a red and black hurricane. No, It's a Blackhawks jersey with a hurricane plastered no, on it. No, it's a demonic toilet bowl. <laughs> It's no wonder, well, no, they even changed the, look. was it, this isn't the current one, because the, the current one has the, it just says Canes from That's a diagonal, awesome. or is That's it an alternate? Yeah, they, they have, have like alternate. two alternates. They have two alternates already. Oh, my God. How yeah. do you get two alternates and other teams don't even have one? Yeah. Okay, and apparently, like, are, are they wearing those more than these, though? Yes. Yeah, they're wearing the black Again, alternate. So and that's the, the one reason, like, more. if we were to show it later, just like, what's the point? It looks like a collegiate jersey. And this, there's nothing special to it. Okay, so in the we in the home, it. You're a hurricane. in I, the in the home jersey, the red stripe has the what is it, the little checker? Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, you mean the thing so, that's in the neck of this one? Yes. Right there. That below. Yeah. Why are you not doing that on the bottom? How care. come they haven't embraced? Jerks. Do something. <laughs> just do hey, they jerks. created that hashtag. Uh, Next. Uh, Blackhawks, you're a classic. Yeah. Don't, don't ever change. They, they, I do not like the red like around the neck. Primaries. No. I do like their, uh, what is this, their rotor home. Oh, um, um, I like well, the road jersey. There's the road, road, road jersey, yeah. I like the red. I also like their uh, black alternate they had that year. Oh, do you mean the black on black like the one I have with Ovechkin? Yeah, I think that was it. They did. Oh, the Blackhawks. It may not be a fan of yours, but you have a jersey that just it's works. recognizable. It's a classic look. Don't mess with it. Don't update it. Don't do anything with it. Oh look, it's the Florida Soccer Club. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the logo. This is the again, jersey's okay. But... I know what they were trying to do with this. I understand that they were trying to go with the Florida State flag look. It yeah. didn't work. Nope. It doesn't work at all. Even the blue lettering on the back doesn't match. This uses this mis this misuses color palettes completely. You have blue lettering. You have red striped. Was it you have red striped jersey? Was it jersey arms? What's the consistency here? It's a boring. And then worst of all, you have a soccer club style. Hey, shouldn't that red stripe also be on the back? Well, if, if they were going to do it more if like... If they're going to have the red on the front going if they across, were going to do, yeah, do it all the way around. If you were going to do it like the state flag, you would have done a like a red X cross across the chest or something, then put the Florida badge over, or you Florida shield over. You just gave them an idea for alternate. Oh, it's, and then you don't do I'm not, Actually, I like their original Florida Panther I don't. way better. I don't. I think all, all right. their logo's been terrible. <laughs> okay. That's personal. Wait, how many more we got? Oh, are we done? We're done. Wow, wow. that was that was. Huh. yeah, we're done. Well, then again, we did skip practically the original six. We gave them all passes. Yeah, we left them alone. Where's the kings? Yeah, we never do the kings. <laughs> uh. You got it up there. I see it. I think that's Ali right there. Right here, yeah. Oh, pfft. it's the only one it didn't grab. Wow. Well, glad we caught that before the video was ended. <clears throat> and lastly, and not leastly, I'm making up words I, now. I, I don't know. Remember when, okay, we, I talked about this off camera. And apparently the only reason L.A. gets this pass in my book is because of the great one. I hate jerseys that use primary black and white as their as their team colors. I hated it when the Admirals did it for was it their past year where they were with the cartoon skull. Yeah, the black and silver is a nice. Look. It to me is black lazy. and silver would have been way better than yeah. black and white. White, yes. Which I the, like their alternate jersey, yeah, the silver yes. one. The silver one is whoa. Yeah. It's like a it, it's practically a silver bullet. That's the best thing about it. And here's the thing. Also, L.A., you don't need to have L.A. in your logo. You just need to have the Kings logo. And you don't see the Lakers or the Clippers saying L.A. It just says Lakers or Clippers. Also, it just looks like L.A. over Kings. Like, Yeah. Yes, because it's, uh, it's California. It's, like it's California against the world. Or is it just a subtle dig that say the Kings of Sacramento are under L.A.? <laughs> it could be. You never know. Good God, that would be a horrible I never quite, thing. I never quite heard what their explanation for also, this particular logo. Also, nothing in the nothing in the neck. Yeah. 
They're LA, so I guess nothing special about them. I mean, so that. Why right, they can't have it special in LA because they're a bunch of uh, fake plastic people in LA. There's nothing special about it. That that's more editorial. It's Hollywood. Than, that's more editorial, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, at this point, it's kind of like, ugh. But uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, this was our. Are you sure we have ever jerk? You yeah. might want to triple check before we uh, cut it. Because there's a lot of teams. I want to make sure we uh, critiqued all of them. Did we get to Tampa Bay? No, no. yeah, we did forget Tampa Bay. <laughs> See? <laughs> we well, I'm season. allowed to make screw-ups. Yes, we are. I'm just forgetting teams that, you know, expanded. <laughs> and should have disbanded. And here I can name practically every team. This one, it's just a really good inversion of the... Of the home jersey. Yeah. Because when, when Tampa decided, oh, wouldn't it be a smart idea if we just got rid of our unsightly word font yeah. that says Tampa Bay Lightning? They yeah. made a right step. But then they took a wrong step for me uh, by including the, the patch on the shoulder. Yeah. To where it, remember the old TB, light, the, the TB logo? Yeah. They just, just put that. Just put that. You don't need. You don't need the club logo. Was it what I call the club logo, which has basically like for the Minnesota Wild, it says Minnesota Wild around the circle, like Minnesota Wild Hockey Club. You don't need that on a jersey. No. People are, have already figured out what your team name is if they're already watching the game. And they already know it's sport you play clearly. So yeah. yeah. But it is a clean jersey. It's they didn't do too much. They didn't I do too like little. I personally like the blue version of this better, but it, you're right, it's nice. I wish they would do more because this is one where I think they could have done more with the the lightning bolt style. I'm also sorry I could not find a customized jersey or a, a actual one. Or Some a of player, these, you know, for the was it the nameplate? The nameplate numbers. numbering. It, it's it is tip, difficult when you're looking at like websites because. Every time you go shopping on NHL, they just float you over to Fanatics. So. Yeah, so you just got to go straight to Fanatics then. So sometimes on Fanatics, they don't give you everything. It took me an hour to find a home Ducks jersey. Yeah. All right. Or so, an away Ducks jersey. Or, yeah. yeah, an away Ducks jersey. Uh, God. I think I think we got everything. We got Pittsburgh. We got okay. We're good. Dude, we're we're, we're 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 casually going over this carefully. Yes. Yeah, we got everything. The only ones we forgot were L.A. and Tampa Bay. Cause Montreal was if, the first one. If those two make the Stanley Cup, we just made a we just found our way of predicting the Stanley Cup. <laughs> All right, we forgot you, so you're gonna win the cup. All right, that was fun. So yeah, this... uh, in the comments below, please let us know if we uh, forgot one. Or better yet, tell us what your favorite away jersey is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, tell us what your Interact favorite. Try try to go against it. Like if you are like a like a particular fan, like if you're part of this group, you're probably Nashville fan. Well, hey! hey. hey. <laughs> but no, I'll seriously. I'll scratch my eyeball. Do you do? <laughs> but no, oh well. Seriously, like if you're not, if you are a, like a Nashville fan, or if you are a, a, a dedicated fan to a, a, another hockey club, tell us which one is your like of another club. Which one of theirs is your favorite? Like okay, yeah. outside of your favorites, which is yours? Uh, your favorite NHL club. What's mm-hmm. your favorite jersey? Outside of our teams that we root for, okay. Uh, so you can't say the Wild. Wild. Because you like the wild. Outside of the wild and outside of the team I cover for this podcast, the Preds, I would have to go with. Uh... And this is the way jerseys. Yes. Is that going to be the white version? Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have to say I'll go to Philadelphia Gritties. Because uh, I, uh, I I like it. I, okay. I, I like the Philadelphia Gritty. Because it kind of, I will say this, as much as I don't like the That's the bar, good. well, the, the bar <laughs> nameplate thing, it does mask that kind of 70s hockey feel to it. Yeah, Broad Street Bullies. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, yours? Uh, mine has to be the St. Louis Blues. It's very, it's very, uh, like, simplistic. It, re- it definitely reflects off of their expansion era. 
Home Jersey. And he cannot use the wild or predators either. No, so I'm not using them. Yeah, yeah that's why. I, like, and in you my said which one I'd like outside of. The and in, and in my I case, so I can't use the wild predators or sabers. Wow. <laughs> so go ahead, pick one outside of those three. If you say Dallas, I'm leaving. <laughs> Actually, my the, the one thing I do like, and, and it's kind of weird that I say this, but I do like Colorado's jersey. Just uh, I don't like the numbers, but scratch the number. If you handed me a blank one, I'm fine yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, it's fine. If, if it's just a blank one, I'm okay with it. The other one would be the Leafs. I, I've always liked the Leafs jerseys. Um, I have one of their winter classic ones. I really love that jersey. Yeah, it's a nice jersey. Yeah, I'll, my alternate would be uh, the Edmonton Oilers. Because, you know, I have a thing for the classic teams. I just don't feel like NHL's TV should be okay. slightly original. With that said, though, which ones are you poo-pooing? Which ones are you yeah, saying? Yeah, which ones uh, do we end dislike? All, the end-all the be-all the end be worst away jersey. I'm, I, I'm not a fan of Winnipeg. I, I just don't like it. It really um, needs more work. Dallas, I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. No, 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 you got to pick one. Or, yeah, which, yeah. which is the worst? Uh, the worst? The worst to you. What is the worst? Ooh. Um, I'll go well, Winnipeg. Yeah, I, I can... Yeah, I'll go Winnipeg. Um, For me, this is where it gets really tricky because... Do you have a couple of lists like me, huh? Well, I How gotta just do your top three if you okay. want to go that way. Well, if we're gonna do that, then let him go yeah, for his. Let's, uh, let's go. Look, you you said Winnipeg and you said Dallas. Yeah, you got my one more. third one that I don't like. Uh, I'll go with Florida because I uh, like the original Florida Panther logo better than this one. It complimented the jersey way better. Yeah, yeah it, it did. did. I'll give you that. So those are my three that I a really badge don't like. belongs on the shoulder, yeah, not on, on the price. Exactly. But, so um, name your threes. Oh, I gotta give duff to the Canes one. My, it, it it's just so boring. Like there's there's not much to it. Even oh, their black one's boring. Well, the black one I actually prefer more than that one. Like the the their away jersey. It's, yeah, but I prefer the Gretzky era one, so I yeah. I also like because it goes against my rule on the black and white being used as primary colors. I I gotta poo on the Kings as well. It's nothing it's not even a, anything special of a jersey. It's just uh, and again, the logo itself is like a boring thing to me. And if we're gonna go on the third, oh, this is gonna be the one that Hurts the most because again, I, it's really tied up. I got it. It's the ducks one. It's the ducks. There's there's so much going on with the ducks jersey where, I don't care for the gold. I don't. The, this is one also where the ducks still need to figure out what the heck their color scheme is and what they're gonna do to move forward with it because now they've got these new alternate jerseys that are coming out that suggest a different style of jersey. And remember the old, the original Anaheim Duck era when they uh, sold when the, they debuted, yeah. when they uh, they sold to the new family. A mess! What a mess of a jersey! All right, so oh, my they won the cup. Yeah. My yeah. three are um, one I don't like is Vegas. I just don't like the red trim with the gold, red and gold, the gold metallic flaking. It just looks. Horrible. Yeah, that gold looks better with black combo, right? Oh, I forgot. I, th- I should have just said Vegas. Again, I try to. Again, I just blank the the Vegas one out so much because they bear like there's no reason to even use the red stripe in their home jersey. All right, my second one I do not like is Columbus. It is just boring. It, 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 I I do like I said I like the shoulder the the stripes going down the arm sleeve, but that's it. The shoulder cannons are nothing. There's no reason. And then my final one, and this will make everyone laugh, but believe it or not, there is a problem I have with the Nashville Predators away jer- or away jersey. Really. Yep, and it is that the yellow does not complete the shoulder. Thank you, you could do it Thank you. down to the numbers Jeez. and be fine. That's exactly what I was getting at, is that it just stops like, so we're just using me? Yeah, it, it just stops, stops like right here. What's the point of that? 
you could the go point? down to where the numbers are and stop and, then, and wrap and then, it around. Instead of having like goofy color it in like you can actually the numbers. do where the numbers are. You could do a white and then a blue line and a blue line and then go back to yellow. Or even then, you don't even have to use yellow down here. Like right here, you don't have to use yellow down here at all. It's just white. It's just. But I do. The one thing I guess I could say that I do like about the jersey is the fact that the, they did try to make it where, unlike the last away jersey, where the number had the white, the, the front had the white line straight through the middle. The one thing I do like is that they tried to even it out amongst the sleeves yes. to the to the to the bottom yellow. They did try it. The only problem is, is the shoulder sleeves. When you're wearing it, you're like this, and it's still always going to be yeah. higher. That's they tried, and I do give them credit for that. Well, yeah, you got to get points for effort. Um, and and then the piano keys in the neck. That's yep, just, that's still <laughs> good. That's still um, good. my least favorite, Jets. And the reason yeah. is, is the double barring. The double barring on the sleeve, you you have already a blue stripe going down this way and down this way, and it goes all the way through, which I do like. But then you have the double barring that completely messes it all up. I know people are going to think that I'm just going to poo-poo on every jersey on here or just give it give a guff, but like the Winnipeg one still comes off as one they just slap together just to get it ready in time to... Move yeah, because, oh, we're moving to Adidas. Oh, yeah. crap. <laughs> yeah, we're we're moving to Winnipeg. It's, yeah, it really comes off as that. Like, I think even like as much guff as the the Thrashers got with theirs, they at least had some solid like representation of her. But again, that's just me. Like we said, we we were just these are just our thoughts. Um, we try to be as unbiased as I said with Nashville being my third one. Yeah, you know it's not the ugliest jersey, but I mean you don't hate the home jersey. No. Not really. I mean, there's not much to hate about it. The way it, it the weird part about the home jersey is it complements itself all the way through, yeah. where the away jersey doesn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just it seems like there's stuff missing. Yeah. Um. So we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um. Brought to you by the wonderful folks at the Hockey Locker. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's invisible. <gasps> there it is. Oh, there's Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, check us out next week for one of these. We will be doing another one. It the will logos. be it will be the NHL logos, and then I believe after that we're gonna jump into the inside and outside thoughts of what the arena surface on the inside looks like from a fan point view, and then um, the outside. So you can interior exteriors. A yep. lot of shopping yeah. malls. <laughs> a lot of shopping malls. A lot of shopping malls. A lot of glass spaceships. <laughs> and a lot of arenas do look like shopping And malls. potentially library-like buildings. <laughs> um, and then after that, we're going to go to the AHL and do the same. So we'll be doing this all over again. So a lot of parking garages, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So And then after that, probably the ECHL, and then we'll be done for a little while. Oh, <laughs> the ECHL venues are going to be interesting. And then we'll do the, uh, the KHL, the... Uh, okay, uh, okay. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves there. <laughs> yeah. But we're, we're going to cover all the hockey leagues eventually. Somehow. The Western Hockey The SPHL. <laughs> Again, if we're we're gonna really have fun with those if we go and cover those. Like we have to do their teams too, like cover their logos and stuff because a lot of those because they're essentially minor pro in a way and they get a lot they don't get a lot of attention either. And it, like some of their logos and uh their jerseys like the Knoxville Ice Bears, we yeah. saw those. Ooh. That was nice. Oh, what, 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 um, in the SPHL, there is a team, uh, the Knoxville Ice Bears. They yeah. got some really sick iconography on their. Uh, yeah, I don't like that logos. new Peoria Riverman logo. Yeah, they. We'll get we'll into get that. On that one. Yeah. But but we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, check us out tomorrow for all you uh, Predators and Admirals Subscribe fans, to Everblades fans. YouTube. Like our videos, watch them. Everblades fans, we don't forget. We haven't forgotten you. We'll get to you. And always, don't forget our friends. Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker. Uh, Hockey Locker, Milwaukee.com. They disappeared for a little bit, but they're back now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, go over there. Check them out. They have Spend everything at an affordable price uh, and nice customer service. Um, 2002 money. West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or you can call them at... At 414-800-7585. And I'm Daniel. This is Matt, and this is Chris, and we will see you guys tomorrow.